Hey Gabby, it's Carl and here's an analysis of your swing. I'm only going to look at the last day of the clinic, so this is the sixth day and we're going to take a look at right where you're at when we finished and compare that to a college player and then see some of the things uh, you can work on in the fall and the winter um, on your own. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the things that you're doing right. And if you look at the player from Alabama here, when she rotates her bat is really close to her back shoulder. You can see how you can see that right there. So she keeps it nice and tight to her back shoulder, and you do a decent job of that. We're starting with the bat against the shoulder, and your everything's rotating together pretty well. It comes it comes away a little bit there, which I'm going to show you why here in a second. But uh, you rotate everything uh, pretty good, so I'm happy with that. Uh, your if you look at her shoulders, there's her front shoulder and watch it, it keeps rotating all the way into impact for a lot of power and you do the same thing, there's your front shoulder right there and it keeps rotating all the way into impact so that's really good um, and the last thing is right at impact we want to be palm up, palm down and both of you, you both look the same right there uh, your palm up, palm down with your your front hand right there and right there so yeah, that impact position with your hands looks pretty good. So those are the three things that I saw you're doing pretty well. And here's a few things that you could work on. Uh, the first one has to do with the, with the front foot. Watch the player on the left here. When she plants that front foot, it's planted and it stays down. That heel stays down. And if we look at you with your front foot right here, um, when you get into impact, you're coming up on your toes. You can see that. Your front foot is coming up on your toes right into impact. So you're going to want to plant your heel and keep that heel planted. Uh, the next thing is you look at this player from Alabama, and she has a nice clean axis that she rotates her body around like that, and her front leg is straight at impact, and your front leg is a little bent at impact right here. What we're going to want to do, and I've got a few things I'll show you on this next time I see you, um, we want that front leg to be straight at impact then you're just going to rotate your body around that axis uh, r right there so there, there's the second thing your, your front legs a little bent and the last thing with the lower body is you can see she does this nice stride and weight transfer and as she rotates her back foot is really light you can see how, how light it is it actually drags a little bit and if we look at you you're still keeping some weight and kind of squishing the bug with your your back foot right there. So those are the three things we need to work on on your lower body. Keep the front heel planted, get the front leg straight and impact, and do some weight transfer to get all the weight off the back foot at impact. So there's three things right there. As far as the upper body goes, uh, the first thing I noticed is if you watch this player from Alabama, she starts and her front, her front arm is bent when she starts. And then let's watch her as she rotates. It stays bent, stays bent, stays bent. And she's got this thing, we call it the hitter's box right here. Where both of her arms are bent, we call it the hitter's box. And she just turns and rotates that hitter's box right into impact. And you can see an impact. Her front arm is still bent and her back arm is still bent. So it looks just like that. And you can see you start with your arm bent there. But then as you go to do your, your load, you straighten your arm. We don't want to do that. We want to, we want to keep some, some, some bend there so you have a hitter's box. And you can see how straight it is as you rotate. And then at impact, your hitter's box looks like this, where the player over here, you, know, you actually see um, a box and both of our arms are bent. So we want to keep that front arm bent. It's going to take you some reps to correct that, but uh, that's going to help. And... The last thing, we'll keep this pretty simple here, is so this player on the left here has his hitter's box and then she keeps her front arm or her front elbow kind of rotating up and away like that and then when she extends her power V is facing the pitcher and the bat's pointed right at the pitcher's head or so. So that's what she looks like because she kept her front elbow rotating up and away she didn't roll it over. And you can see you right here, everything kind of rolls over right there. You're rolling your, your right arm over a little bit too early. And your front elbow now is pointed towards the ground. So you're rolling over your hitter's box. So if you compare your power V, it looks like this, pointed into the ground. 
and her power V is pointed up and away. And because she rotates her hitter's box all the way to impact, and then she keeps that front elbow kind of working up and away. So a um, few things. Next time I see you, I'll show you a couple things, and then you'll have some things to work on during the fall and the winter. But overall, uh, you're a great kid. It was a lot of fun to work with you. Um, you're a nice person, easy to work with, and um, look forward to seeing you in the fall and the winter and uh, and then next season sometime. So um, uh, all right, enjoy the rest of your summer, Gabby. Bye.